Oh, okay. Yep. Oh, hey, everybody. How's everyone doing? Sorry, I just forgot to plug in my um, my Ethernet cable. So I was going on Wi-Fi, and I think there was a message that came up saying that I had a weak signal. So right away, Jeremy is here. Hey, Jeremy, how you doing? Good to see you. Let me do this. All right. How are you doing today? All right. So hopefully, can everybody... Hopefully you can hear me okay that the, now that I plugged in my ethernet cable, hopefully everything transitioned okay. Yeah, it looks like it. I'm looking at my other monitor over there. So I think we're good to go. So yeah, I'm wondering, did any, how did you guys, um, it's been kind of a big week with the eclipse. So you can see my thumbnail wearing those eclipse sunglasses. So here in Michigan, we had like 95% of the sun being covered by the moon. So it was pretty cool. It was dark enough outside where the buildings the night, the lights, the automatic sensors from the photo eyes, those would come on. And, oh yeah, yeah, Jeremy, you're doing good. Great to hear that. So yeah, Jeremy, how did you go out and see the eclipse? What did it look like for you? Yeah, for me, it kind of looked like a, wearing a pair of dark sunglasses, just that it was a very sunny day, like no clouds in the sky. So it was really great weather for it. So it got really kind of gray out and kind of hazy looking. So that was pretty cool. I, I would like to travel somewhere where they have 100% coverage to see what that's like. So Jeremy says, I am at the golf course in my neighborhood now with the neighbors. The neighbors own the golf course in my neighborhood and knows my name. Oh, Tim, thank you. Glad to hear you. Yeah, actually, I haven't golfed in a long time, but my boys are interested in going golfing this summer. So we have a few different clubs. So Jeremy says... He did see the eclipse. So was it mostly covered? Just curious. I'm not sure exactly where you're at. I think you said you're a little south. Of, I'm in Michigan. Um, all right. So while all right. So while we're going from that, a couple of things I want to say. Let's see. Just want to make sure. Oh yeah. So I've been really busy working on taxes today. So I'm somebody that has to pay in every year. So that's keep me pretty busy. So I'm not quite there yet, getting everything calculated. I don't know if anybody else is dealing with that, but it just gets a little bit stressful. I should plan it sooner, but I do this every year. I guess you could say I work good under pressure. Oh, Henderson, Kentucky, Tim said, yeah, you were probably like right in the belt of that. So I know like going across the United States that people like in Cleveland and New York, I know someone that drove to New York to, he's a like a part-time photographer. He rented a lens to go get some footage of that look like that'd be cool uh, oh yeah one other thing before we get started so this year it seems like we're mowing lawns sooner i'm not sure about you guys but i'm thinking it's somewhere between a week and a half to two weeks that we're mowing the lawn sooner i haven't mowed mine out here yet but i'm probably going to be ready to do it this saturday if it dries up enough normally it's somewhere around the 25th to 20 25th to 30th before i can just go the longest I can before having to mow. So it just seems like this year, the warmer weather moved in faster than other years. And yeah, we really didn't have that much snow. All right, so let's get something announcement for my next live stream. Usually I go every two weeks. I was on spring break in Minneapolis. Jeremy says it is mostly covered. Oh, there's Tim. Let's see, sorry. Sometimes my... <laughs> I got to figure this out with my software. It doesn't show the very last comment. So Tim said it, it was about 40 miles from complete darkness. Okay. Yeah, I just heard a lot of people, like some of the places where people are at, just the roads and the traffic was just kind of crazy for people trying to get to that spot where it's complete darkness. Um, oh, yeah. So I'm going to get on to the next thing. So, yeah, I was in Minneapolis. So I think this is three weeks of a span from going live. So next Tuesday, I have this scheduled. So let's go to this next slide. So I have a couple of guests. I'm excited to, I've had one guest before. Now I'm going to have two. So give me a chance to expand using the live stream software and trying that out. So I have two tree professionals. So first is Justin Devastali. So he's from, let's see, he's from Clarksville, Tennessee. And then Phil Leger, he is, he was in Montreal. Now he is going, he's moved west, uh, closer to Ontario. 
So, oh yeah, so yeah, up in Canada. So yeah, I did notice today. So one of the Canadian things: there's hockey, there's maple syrup, and then there's poutine. So that food, it's actually I saw on the news today. Today is National Poutine Day. So just a little interesting fact there. So I don't know if you guys have ever tried it, but uh, there's a few places here in Michigan because we're not too far from Canada. So we, we have places that offer it. So Jeremy said, I saw one on the golf course. I saw one of the golf course workers mowing the lawn at the golf course this morning. So yeah, they're probably just taking that, getting that first cut, it sounds like. And that's, but I'm not sure exactly where you're at. Maybe it's a warmer climate. Around here, I don't, I haven't seen any commercial landscape crews mowing yet, but it's getting close. They're all doing their cleanups and they're doing some sidewalk edging, but not the mowers haven't hit the hit the ground yet. So Tim said, "My third oh wow, third week of mowing." <laughs> That's yeah. All right, so yeah. Anyways, getting back to asking a tree professional anything, so. What I recommend if you're around next Tuesday at 8 p.m., that's April 16th, bring your questions. I'm going to start off with some questions that I have. I'm an avid chainsaw user and fan, and I haven't, I've used it in doing some landscape work where, you know, people hire me, but I'm not like a tree person per se. Uh, then my, in the years past my home building business, there's often times where we have to get equipment around and we just needed a really good chainsaw. So I had a pro level chainsaw years ago starting out. And ever since then, I just started collecting more chainsaws, love them. So I'm excited with some of the questions I have, what it's like to be in the tree business. So these guys, as you can see in the pictures, they're climbing trees and doing some really major things that are quite dangerous. So it's going to be interesting to hear from them. So please join us next Tuesday for that. And then this is my thing of the week. I did this last week and every week I seem to have something that's really just an awesome tool or an item that I have. And this is what I came up with for this week. So I haven't reviewed this from Milwaukee yet. I have the box still. I'm saving it for my review. So this is the M12 Insider Extended Reach Ratchet Kit. So this is what it looks like. Let me set the box down. So anyways, yeah, my son was home last week from college and he has a car that up his first year and he noticed that the brakes were getting really bad and squeaking. So I was able to use this kind of like a last minute thing I have a new Daytona uh, floor jack that I bought from Harbor Freight, which is awesome. I spent a little extra money for that, but that just really worked well. And using this right here, the insider reach, so you can hear that ratchet. So I was able, I just have used this on so many things, but this really worked well for getting to some of those tough areas of the brakes. And it has quite a bit of power. And if it can't turn it, then it you can use that right there to lock and you can use all that leverage right there to get the bolts loose. So I definitely recommend this. So sometime pretty soon, I'm gonna, I have quite a bit of footage from different projects, even like changing the battery. It has, it's just really quick to get the nuts off and things. So definitely recommend it. So you'll see that review. I definitely give it five stars. All right, so we got some tool news, new tools announced this week. So let me, Click over here a second. All right, so first of all, from Ryobi. Let's see, I, if you can hang on just a second, I need to move something out of the way here. I updated Ecamm Live and sometimes there's some new things. So there's a pop-up menu right over what I look at. So this, you can see, um, this works with that big suitcase battery. That's what's underneath. And on top, that is the converter. See, whoops. All right. All right. So this is, here's a use for it, like using it for tailgating. And let me give you some of the details right here. I'm not going to read all this, but just give you some of the highlights. So this is 279. It's the all new 80 volt, 1000 watt power source, and it's new to their line of their 80 volt products. So 
It's an ideal companion for the 80 volt batteries to extend the use of their outside work with the Ryobi 80 volt lawnmowers and tractors. So if you, I, a couple years ago when I was at, I think it was still called GIE, now it's Equip the Expo. I was at the Ryobi booth talking with the new push mower that they have. It uses this, I think it uses this battery. It's like the big suitcase style battery. If not, it's definitely in their riding mowers. Um, yeah, maybe just the riding mowers. But anyways, if you get that battery, you can buy this right here and then you'll have a thousand watt power source. So you can, it has the, um, see with 800 starting watts and a thousand running watts, it delivers power through one USB-C port two USB-A ports and two 120 volt outlets. The power source can run products, including TVs, lights, fridges, and charge portable devices like phones, laptops, and more. So it has that pure sine wave technology. So that is that type of inverter that doesn't do any damage to like your computers or your phone. So just a regular generator could potentially do that. And then you can connect it, show you right here to your riding lawnmower. There, let's see. There it has three of the 80 volt batteries. So if you connect it to that, then you can really get some long run time. So if you have like a whole house power outage, that's a nice solution for that. Oh yeah, I should, should have clicked over here to this one. Yeah, so it can run on a single battery as well as I mentioned, um, let's see. Yeah, it has LCD display, screen display with battery level and load level. That's always good to know, make sure you're not if you plug a heater in, that could potentially, they draw a lot of power. And built-in cable management, that's always good. Extend reach with a three-foot cable. All right. And then from Milwaukee, they have a couple announcements. So this one, people that are in the mechanical trade are really excited about. So this is something that's going to be launching May 24th for $399. It's, they're delivering the fastest, cleanest cuts with their new M12 brushless one and a quarter inch to two inch copper tubing cutter. So this, I'll get to the questions in just a second. Uh, focus on increased productivity, quality cut and capacity. Milwaukee introduces the new M12 brushless tubing cutter, delivers the fastest, cleanest cuts. M12 copper tubing cutter provides high performance without sacrificing quality and automatically adjusts diameter to cut. This is different types of copper, type K, L and M copper pipes and from one and three eighths to two and one eighths OD. So, oh yeah. <laughs> so I just saw that from Jeremy asking if I'm gonna do the tool announcement. So yeah, I'm not sure when you posted that, but yeah, I got another one here. Oh, this, this one I'm really excited about. I don't, the other one, let me just jump back. So the tubing cutter, I definitely use for residential stuff. I wouldn't use something of this size. If you're working in a commercial building, a lot of times they have boilers for heat sources. And there I see those bigger copper tubes. And that looks like that would be a real pain to cut something like that manually. So having something like this, I'm sure is just something that people in the mechanical trades are really excited to see. All right, then into the carpentry and remodel segment. So they're delivering, let's see, improved power. See, Milwaukee delivers improved power and drives professional productivity. So this is gonna be launching in May, MSRP 259 for the kit and 159 for the bare tool. So this is, let's see, they're delivering the second generation M12 fuel five and three eight circular saw providing the most powerful, the most power in a compact size integrated with premium features for improved performance this new compact circular saw offers increased job site productivity and unmatched portability in size and weight. So I'll make it, oh yeah, at the very bottom here. So if you get the kit that has the, the M12 five amp hour battery pack and the compact saw can cut up to 190 cuts per charge in two by four lumber, providing maximum uptime on job sites. So I saw this, it just remember, I remember like when battery powered little handheld saws like that first came out. I had, one of the first ones was a DeWalt. Uh, they had a combo kit, I think it was a Sawzall and a, I think it might've been that side, maybe it was a little bit smaller blade, circular saw. And a lot of times at job sites, I would have to cut the sill plate on the foundation. That was something what we do in the prefab modular home business. The 
person that puts the foundation in, the basement guy or crawl space person, they don't, they put the straps for the sill plate, but it's up to us to put the sill plate on, or maybe that's, we just never asked them to do that. So we would put the sill plate on and then I would have to make, usually it's like a rectangle type. So I normally have to make like four to six cuts of a treated two by six. And that first DeWalt one could not make four cuts most of the time. So I'd have to bring another battery or sometimes it would get most of the way, but it was just, it was exciting to not have to bring, this is, you know, back a long time ago to not have to bring like a generator and like extension cords to be able to just run a regular circular saw. Or I guess I could do it by hand too, but it was nice having power tools. So now seeing all those cuts that it can do, like 190 cuts in a two by four. So if I get this tool, I'm going to test it on some treated two by sixes to see. And the battery size being an M12 and not having the M18, that's awesome. So I guess, sorry for that long winded excitement for this tool, but that this is something I'm hoping to bring on the channel. So the no load speed, 4,500 RPM, brushless motor, electric motor brake. I always like having the brake. And the blade diameter are five and three eighths or five and a half and blade left. So that's something that's important. A lot of people have a preference. Aluminum shoe, dust blower, yes. Dust port, yes. Integrated hang hook, yes. That's always nice to have. So the, does it have the weight? Yeah, the weight. Tool only 4.7 pounds. That's light. So a three-year tool warranty. So yeah, I'm excited for that. And then, yeah, with, as I mentioned, getting that tool only or in the kit. So Jeremy asks, oops, sorry. My thing didn't catch up. I, I've asked Ecamm Live about that, why some of my things aren't getting caught up. So let me first, Jeremy said, is Milwaukee going to come out with a with gas power tools? I don't foresee that. Everything that I've heard so far, battery is where they're going. So they there's been some things I think they've introduced some extension or some corded tools where they've they haven't gone away from corded completely. But there, I know there's some people that are really wanting to see some things being corded, like their table saws having the option to plug it in, or their miter saw, like the 12 inch miter saw. Then sometimes people might want to have that extra power. But with the new battery, the Forge battery that they have right now, and the new ones that will be coming out this year, I think they're really trying to get everything to be where you can cut the cord. All right. Let me make sure. Oh, Tim said, I bought my first Ryobi 40 volt electric mower two weeks ago. I have a deep ditch to cut. So that's the one that has both blades, right, Tim? That's the thing of the same one as you. I wasn't sure that that would be something you would take what I call off-roading as much, um, being the two blades, but um, that's cool if it can do that. I been looking at it. I looked at it really close when they announced it when I was in Louisville that time. And then when I go into Home Depot, I often will take a look at it as well. And then another comment. Jeremy says, can you use a circular saw without dust collection? Yeah, you can. If you're outside, it's really windy. If you can stay upwind and have the wind blow away from you, that's great. Sometimes I was actually sanding yesterday something. I have a, that reminds me, I have a video that's going to be out tomorrow. So I was sanding something and the, there wasn't as much of a breeze. So I often have the mask, that 3M one that has the two things on the side. It's just really easy to breathe. So I always keep that handy, but you can also hook that up to like a portable shop vac if you want to. So indoors, I always try to hook it up to dust collection. If I don't have dust collection, I go outside. So hopefully that, <laughs> that's a long winded answer, isn't it? All right, I'm gonna see if there's anything else to say on, okay, I believe that's it with the saw right there. All right, so let's go. Yeah, this is actually gonna be a little bit of a shorter one tonight because I think Tuesday, we're gonna probably have a lot of questions and discussions with three of us talking. So let's see. Yeah, just look at my notes to see what I, one other thing, one other things I was gonna mention. Oh yeah, so if, you want to check out some of my other videos. I had a couple recently that I just posted. So the Echo battery power backpack blower, that is really amazing. It's just very quiet. I'm used to always having to put ear protection on 
And I'm really liking that. So that's kind of a light commercial type. If you're doing like your everyday cleanup, that would work well for that. But if you're trying to do some big leaf cleanups, then you're probably going to want to look at something else they have in the gas version. Then I have another video that just went live last week, and that is a pneumatic powered workbench. So there's it's not anything that's corded and you can go up and down in like two seconds, all the way from like 50 and a half inches down to I think 30 and a half inches. So it's really awesome. It has a butcher block top. Definitely like that. Oh, Tim said single blade. Um, is that, yeah, sorry. So that would, hmm, okay. Wasn't sure that was in reference to the dust collection, single blade. Or was I talking about something else? <laughs> and, oh, yeah, talk about that. And then, yeah, this is something that hasn't been officially announced, but there's been some word that Milwaukee's pipeline event is going to be happening sometime later in June. So nothing official yet. So I will definitely be going live from there as long as everything you know aligns. So I'm excited for that. So it's been a little bit of a quiet week. There hasn't been as many tool announcements Enough, though, to make a video today, and I want to thank Jeremy for asking me to keep me on track to be able to go live. And then, as I mentioned, I'm excited to be going live this Tuesday with the two guests. So if you have any questions right now ahead of time that you can think of, please drop them down below for the next live stream, what you would like to ask a tree professional. They're, like, working at great heights and some pretty dangerous situations. So I'm, you know, like I said, I'm really into chainsaw. So I'm looking forward to that. All right, friends. Well, that's going to wrap it up for tonight. I appreciate you all watching. Have a good night. Talk to you soon.